Targets Sandra Dorset. Targets Biomon went mute a couple hours back. Suspected abduction. Target could have possibly flatlined already. Not sure you're in time. We're in time, Bug. We. Sure you're on phones, but that don't make you any less part of this squad. Squad. Charming. Bug, could at least try to be nice. You want nice, supportive? Call a damn helpline. Sandra Dorset's protected under Echelon 2 Corporal Immunity. Our girl's top shelf. This one's packing black market Zeta Tech repros. Typical back alley fix ups. Not our lucky gal. Let's keep a looking.
on the sensors. Looks like you got them. You're clear to go. Shit, where the hell's our target? Look around. Gotta be there somewhere. I got her. Got our target. We make it? She alive? About to find out. V, jack into our biomod. Need to know what we're dealing with. This does not look Jacking good. Jacking in. Sandra Dorset, NC5-70442. Trauma Team Platinum. Platinum? Shit. Trauma should have swooped in if she sneezed. Guessing they jammed the transmitter, sick. Looking at a hacked biomon, firmware reconfig, or a neurovirus. Carajo, T-Bug. You ain't seeing this place. This is tubs, ice, hooks, and cleavers. Hmm. It's got much just hack, huh? Got an idea. Check her neurocord. Find a shard? Yeah, pull it. That'll be what's muting the biomon. Found the shard. We're moving now. Check the biomon. Anything changed? Greetings, Sandra. If you are conscious, assume recovery position now. An emergency evacuation unit has been dispatched and is due to arrive at your location in 180 seconds. Biomon claims trauma will be here in three minutes. Your premium plan will cover 90% of the projected costs of your rescue and treatment. Ay, pobrecita. Let's get her off that ice. Fuck! He's flatlining! V, need to know what's going on. Jackie, air hypo! Fuck, this is bad! Hey, catch, Vato! I think. Holy shit, it worked! Fuera, cabron! Get her outside! <sighs> Scavrats abandoning ship. Must have seen trauma. Decided to cut their losses. Landing. Stand clear. Initiate security protocol. Follow all instructions. Stop in the doorway. NC570442 secured. Stimulants being administered. 70 milligrams dopamine. 110 norepinephrine. 
800 for Brennigen. It's all yours. I'm beat as it is. Oh, almost forgot. Should get Wakako in the hollow. Tell her the job's done. Well, trauma team took her off our hands. She'll recover. Splendid. Your payment awaits you. Ready to come and grab whenever you like, even right away. But I guess home is the only place you wish to be now. The NCPD has surrounded Watson. The district is closed. If you are to make it past the cordon, you must move fast. Thanks for the heads up. Swing by to see you later. Words out the NCPD is gonna put Watson on lockdown. If I'm gonna sleep in my own bed tonight, we better put it in fifth. Leave it to me, Mano. I'm driving. City like any other, just bigger. No, my no, not just any other city. Morgan Blackhand, Michael Wayland, Adam Smasher. Legends are born here. Let's grab a side bite. What do you say? Jackie, they're locking down Watson, remember? Oh, shit. Right? Jackie. Come on, B! 
Can't keep her steady. Focus on getting home. Necessary security measure. Officer, ma'am! Damn, are we ever lucky we ran into you. Really? What's it that makes me so special? A uh, heart of gold? Because only somebody with a heart of gold can understand just how much I need to get back to my girl. Your girl? Uh-huh. I'm gonna be worried sick if I don't show. I mean, I'm trying to be a stand-up guy. A chance. Wait. Mm, that's a shame. Let them through. But they don't laugh. Okay. On your way. You have a good evening now, officer. Ma'am. If you don't see it, don't mean it's not surviving. It just all happens when you're looking at your eyelids. Like. When am I not nice? Always? I'm always never not nice. Likely to make it back to Haywood now. Kill V? They'll let me through. You sure about that? Oh, yeah. I'll play nice games. Live in your gray. You live in your gray. Send in your dream. Send in your scully in the gullies, yeah. Bully in the burrows, oh. Finna take your money, yeah. That ice shoe cuts me through all. We do demo, pack that heat, we do ghetto, run the streets, read that memo, live that greed, all I need, greed and greed, read it and weep, counting them sheep, using the silence, put you to sleep, sweet dreams there, taking the roof, pop them a trip. Tell Misty I said hi. I will. Ahí luego. Listen, 
used to play with Shootings have been reported along the 1, 166, and 101. Eyewitness accounts point to inter-clan disputes. Attacks on unaffiliated persons. Good evening, Night City. My first guest tonight Bug. is the president of the Forgot United earlier. A runner I know has something you could probably use. Zip in your deets. One Reverend Colbert. Praise be to thee, our Father in heaven. And our second guest is Karina Lee, host of the Chip End program, which promotes the use of cybernetic implants. Good evening, here, beautiful. Can't complain, Ziggy. Thanks for having me. Now, I'd like to talk about the most exclusive and highly sought after implant on the market today. Arisaka Corpse. Oh, stupid gate's busted again. Third time. Paid to get it fixed the last two. Gotta be some kind of scam. Gonna have a word with this super. Oh, yeah.
Caught something when I jacked into that corpo's biomon. You know, uh, neurovirus, sir. I need to see Vic. Let him tell me what's got my head reeling, my stomach churning. Okay, let me take you. I brought you a ride. Yeah, throw on some threads, meet me downstairs. Jones here. If you're looking for work in Watson, give me a call. How'd you find me? How'd you even know my name? I know where to gather my intel. You could even call me a collector. Later, V. Back. Just gave me a next gen ass whooping. He did. Be curious to see how he handles the likes of me. <laughs> so, how about it? Let's do this. Light on your feet. Keep that head moving. something about fighting. Hmm. I've seen you landing blows in the ring. You've got sharp instinct, good edge. You can go far, especially if you get chipped. These fights, let's just say they aren't legal, but very lucrative. Yeah, lucrative for who? You or me? Both of us. I get a small percentage of the total winnings, you know, as your agent. You get the rest. Sounds fair. It's like I said. Good instinct. Fights happen in different parts of the city. You 
choose where you want to go. Put down your eddies and start swinging. And when you take home the pot, manage to drop every last one of them, you get a chance to fight in the grand finale. That all clear? Crystal. Good. So, except you won't be setting foot outside or what? Not yet. You can start in Kaboom. I believe in you, V. Time to show this city what you're made of. What have you got for sale? Only top shelf gear. Suri Festival is nearly upon us. To mark the event, the streets of Night City will come alive with exquisite multi-story dashi floats. The festival program will also include musical performances by Biwa virtuosos and theatrical performances in the No tradition. The spot. For the festival is the Arasaka Corporation. In an exciting development, even Hanako Arasaka has announced her participation in the Dashi program. From all of us at WNS News, we wish you a safe and welcome. We didn't talk about yesterday. It's all in the morning. Long enough. Looked up an appetite, just waiting. Sit down, let me finish this. And we can drop in on Senor Vector. Mentioned something about a surprise yesterday. Am I remembering right or just had a brain fart? Probably both, because you usually forget shit. But it just so happens, I think I might have bagged us a sweet ass J-O-B. Go on. I mean. Maybe it's not as big as that, but... Just that he's fronted by a little-known someone named Dexter Deschamps. Only the top fixer in night fucking city. Fat-ass black Jesus of the afterlife. 300 pounds of partly gold-plated coup. I'm fine. Dexter Deshawn? What's the latest spec on him? I know you got info to spill. He's been off the grid for about two years. Word on the street was, he took a little vacay. Two years? That's exile, not a vacation. What was he up to? Uh, guessing he shoved pizzas in his mouth while jerking off the hardcore virtues. The important thing is, he's back. The fresh crew found us. 
How'd you manage to pull this? Trading your spleen or something? As far as I know, we're not the type to get fingered by Dex. You, me? Oh, but T-Buck, she's the one that hooked us up. Got us talking. Knew it was a done deal the moment he laid eyes on me. Cause come on, ain't nobody who can resist this. Am I right? <laughs> sure, Jack. Whatever you say. So what's the gig? We meant to come out in one piece? Our Lord and Savior wants to tell you everything himself, face to face. Oh, no pressure, but uh, this whole deal is riding on you now, I see. Why do I gotta go? You and T-Bug draw straws without me? T-Bug and Dex go way back, and my face is yesterday's news. Now Dex says he needs to check you, talk to you. Look, V, it's his job, his rules. I can't blame him for taking a personal approach. And it ain't as bad as you think, okay? Trust me. Guess I got no choice then. Dex is a real deal when it comes to fixers. Don't get me wrong. Don't got nothing against the Padre or Wakako, but Dex is his own. Don't get me started on fixers. They catch a client. Find the cheapest gong to do the job, then drop their corpse at a landfill. Shit. Hit the nail on the head, V. Gracias, Dios. Bueno. Brought your wheels. Gave them to my guy yesterday to smooth over the dents after our, uh, dust off with the scabs. Thanks, Jack. Much appreciated. Space. Space. Top notch work, Miguel did. Rise like it looks. Factory new. We'll see about that. So we rolling or what? Let's feel this factory new ride. I'm glad you started. First stop. Ripper Duck. And Holmes. Easy on the gas, huh? I just ate. I was supposed to stop by Vic's anyhow. I got a date. Me and this day. Don't say. She's so sweet. Really gets me, you know. me once Vic's done dusting your circuits. We'll hash out what Dex has cooked up for us. But you are not the masters of your memories, for your eyes do not belong to you, or rather, not only Hey, V. Dr. Vector will see you now. <laughs> Vicky, surprise every old rip. It's good to see you. Good to see you too, V. It's been a while. To what do I owe the pleasure today? Last gig. Had to jack into a client's neuro socket. Think I might have gotten spiked. Experiencing migraines, nausea, hypersensitivity to bright lights. Old kit and caboodle. All right, kit. We'll sort you out in a flash. Besides that, how are things? Met a new fixer. He gave me a job. Name's Dexter Deshaun. Known quantity from the afterlife. No denying you're moving up. But? Something you're not telling me, Vic? Keep your guard up, that's all. I've heard some things about Dex. He's not as chill as he makes himself out to be. Need some new kit. But tools, not toys, Vic. Time I bumped up my sights and got a grip. <laughs> a 
really? Now? Finally? Vic, shit's getting real. Got a job from Dex to Sean, hitting the major leagues. Need tech that can perform. The Dexter Deshaun? <laughs> well, that is something. But let me guess. Hasn't paid you yet. Quit crying, Vic. I'll bring you the Eddies later, with interest. You know I will. Hmm. Last time, you hear? Chair, please. Sit down and relax. Kuroshi Optics. Best I've got, and should be about right under the circumstances. Now check in. Kuroshi? Whoa, Vic, nothing tops that on the market. Hmm, sounds like it could come in handy then. I gave you my word I'd pay you back, but this might be too rich for my blood. We'll work something out. Right now, I'm just out to make sure you get back in one piece. Eddie's in hand. You peruse and choose while I scan. Let's see what's going on inside. Mark one, like I said. Decent enough scanner. Displays data on your cornea. Cherry on the top's a built-in external lens disruptor. In layman's terms, any surveillance cam will capture your face as a blur. And just remember, your body will still show up as crystal clear. Hmm. This should do the trick. Talks to Kuroshi Tech, too. I'm ready. Carve away. Excellent. Let's do this. Lay that major league arm of yours right here. So, what's new in the life of Victor Vector? <sighs> yeah, if I'm being honest, not much. And that's fine with me. I used to live in a world where all that mattered was who's who, what's what, and how's why. And what happened? One day, I just dropped it and never looked back. I'll never be a legend in this town, but been sleeping nights ever since. Just like that. Thanks. Now, a bit of anesthetic and I can start cutting. Feel anything? Same as always. Don't feel a thing. He asks me that every time, you know? Not as if things are gonna be any different today. Sure thing, kid. I mean, not like there's any risk of a stroke or paralysis, but <laughs> what do I know? I'm just a doctor. That's what I thought. Lights out for a minute, all right? Okay, let's test this. See the magic in action. Linking you in. You might feel a little discomfort at first. Blurred vision, low contrast, glitches. Well, 
How's it look? Feel all right to you? Seen more dramatic improvements before. Patience, kid. Give it a minute. Time for the scanner. It might take you a few seconds to adjust, but first time's rarely the charm, with anything, really. Scanner should eventually sync with your thought processes and read your intentions. I also inject an NCPD file search. Run into any ne'er-do-wells? <laughs> you know exactly what they ne'er did well. It ought to work like a charm. Now draw your weapon. You should see your ammo count in a brand new sight. How about the neurovirus from the last job? Can you check it? Done and gone while we were putting in your implant. And a full sweep on your soft and circuits. Zap the critter. You're certified bug free. Shit, Victor, not bad. I don't know what to say. Say you'll take this and remember the dosage. Two whiffs now, and another two in an hour. Thanks again, Vic. You're the best. I owe you. Go on, kid. Show them what you're made of. And once you hit the big leagues, don't forget where you came from. Watch out for negative energy fields and avoid mean reds. V, yo, listen up. I talked to Dex while you were in with the doc. He's waiting in his ride for you. Ain't but a hop to where he's parked next to Gramsci Burgers. Okay, do my we'll come back to this. V, listen. Okay, I've got do my this best to talk matter. us up. That's why I called you. The number of cyber psycho attacks in the city is on the rise. Now, that's probably not news to you, but this issue matters to me for a few reasons. There are people who say cyberpsychosis can be treated. Right. And I know exactly how that sounds, but I believe even an unproven therapy is still better than a bullet to the brain. If I get a tip about a possible attack, I'll give you a call. Maybe you can investigate before Max Tap hits the scene. But remember, you're not there to execute anybody. Try to incapacitate the attacker, and I'll send someone to pick him up. I hope that's all clear. Yo, Mr. V, a pleasure. Dexter Deshaun in the flesh. Ample indeed. <laughs> Let's roll. Mind if I ask you something right off the bank? Would you rather live in pieces, Mr. Nobody, die ripe, old, and smelling slightly of urine, or go down for all times in a blaze of glory, smelling near like posies, without seeing your 30th? There's some sort of test? Eh, just a pet topic of mine. You mean... riddles? No, Mr. V. Ontology. All right, listen close. Scanning a serious job now. Playing gargantuan compared to smashing up a scav home. Hang on. I got a question of my own now. Why all this, Dex? Why me? Could have had Jackie or T-Buck sitting here. 
Could have just done this on comms. Call me old fashioned, but I like to look anyone I do biz with in the eye. Had the pleasure of meeting the Jackster in the past, and Sweet T Bug helped this brother out two years ago. So here we are. Besides all that, got a special little pre mission just for you. But we'll get to that. Let me hear it. What's the job? There's this prototype tech, a biochip to be precise. Jobs to grab it. Simple. Yeah. Guessing it belongs to a corp. Mm-hmm. Arasaka. Surely that's no problem. Corps don't deserve special treatment. Shit, <laughs> you ain't playing around. Got a feeling this could be a start of a beautiful friendship built on heaps of eddies. You work this out? Got a plan? Two things. First, a conundrum with the Maelstrom boys. Needs active resolving with that. Second, a rendezvous. Simple. Client who brought us the job's anxious. She wants to parlay with one of the team. What's the issue needs resolving with Maelstrom? Got a beef? Slot in the shard. I got a classic tale for you. Psycho Gang doing his thing two weeks back. Jumped a Militech convoy. Got away with the gear. Corp don't even know Maelstrom's involved. Now see, Convoy was carrying the Flathead, a little combat bot, a prototype. And I need me that bit of high-grade military tech. Because if we don't get that bot, we don't get no soccer chip. And we sure as hell don't get no happily ever after. But don't get excited. It's a single-use toy. Now, I flat out purchased the damn thing from Maelstrom. The problem is, I did so from a gent went by the name of Brick. I say when, because Brick was the leader. Three days after we'd sealed our deal, his friend and gangmate, one Simon Randall, AKA Royce, plain dropped his ass. Royce is in charge now, and I got no way of knowing if he aims to honor his predecessor's word. To add to this shitstrom, one Meredith Stout of Militech has developed an interest in said conflict. Corpo agent, what's you playing at? Hell if I know. Been skidding around town asking after the convoy as if her life depended on finding it. The one lead she's got zip tied in her trunk. Sounds like she was waiting on the transport. Got stood up. Monochrome in the back's probably her chief suspect. Got nothing from him or on him, so she's keeping him just in case. But she needs to find the stolen gear before her bosses learn she fucked up. Well, Mr. V, that is some impressive deduction. Naturally, use that intel as you please. Preferably well. Of course, to do so, you'll need that frazzled cat's info. Sending it now. Client, what's her thing? Why she need to meet? Woman's name's Evelyn Parker. Betting her wasn't easy. Put the word out I was looking for any kind of intel. Right, and? Some brothers from Pacifica got back to me. Told me to stop looking. End the convo. <laughs> anyway, our little client insisted on meeting someone with skin in the game. You know, we'll be there for it all. Yours truly will be remote. T-Bug ain't no people person, and Jaggy's only good at some things. I know you know what I mean. Pretty much leaves you. I think I got everything. Time I got to work. Well, that's just music to my ears. I'll set up the meet with Miss Parker at Lizzie's bar. Flathead, though, is gonna be all you. One more thing, Mr. V. Quiet life or blaze of glory? Hmm? Later now.
Jackster, talk to Dex. <laughs> yeah, Gordito's a big deal. Literally a nine, yeah? Hey, you with me, Mano? Clint to want to check our pro cred. But to me, it feels more like he tangled us up with Maelstrom and the Militech. There's this combat bot, military prototype. Maelstrom clepped it. Then Dex paid to take it off their hands just before the gang goons had a switch up in management. Right, right, heard about that. Royce versus Brick. Hostile takeover. That sums it up. Dex wants us talking to Royce. Gave the deets of some Militech agent, too, but... I don't know how much help she stands to be. Ha. <laughs> the other thing. Gotta meet the client who put the job on the table. Evelyn Parker. You? Well, what's Dex gonna do? Ride around in his limo, chat chicks up on the hollow? Parker wants to meet someone on the crew. Dex gave me the nod. They must know what he's doing. So, how you wanna play this? Maelstrom or Parker? What's first? I say we knock on Maelstrom's door first. Pound, actually. In that case, I'll hit the all foods, put my nose to the ground, sniff around. Hasta luego. 